Hey, good morning, bears. Um, I don't even know how to start this. This is my first vlog. What do you want to call it? Currently, I am carrying shit the stupid way because I'm lazy and feel like time to my bag. But I am at Lake Minnewaska. I'm about to go to Waston Falls. I had a photo shoot set up for this morning, but it was like pouring and it was a thunderstorm. It was going to be like 5.30 this morning. So that got canceled. Um, and then I was like, you know what? I'm going to take the day off. I should be working on homework, but I have the next two days off as well. So three days off. Um, I'm going to take the day for myself. It's also really beautiful out today. It's going to be a high 71. I saw some fogs rolling through the mountain. So, yeah. I decided to come out here by myself. So essentially what my goal is for today, if it works out, we'll see. Um, I want to take some portraits of strangers. Yes, yeah, stranger danger. That was creepy. Um, yeah, so hopefully there are some people out hiking today. And they don't mind if I ask them if I can take some portraits of them. Ooh, look at this. Little river bed. I think that the waterfall is going to be pretty awesome as well. Last time I was here, oh god, last year sometime, I think when I saw Mark Ruffalo. Um, not to name drop or anything. No, but he was out uh, shooting his HBO series here. And I was here with my fiance, girlfriend at the time. Um, and the waterfall was just shitty. There was like no water. So I guess in the show, they actually had the green screen at. Uh, which is what I saw there. That's what I was witnessing. Because um, they got video of the waterfall before. And then they were going to, you know, do their green screen edit trick. Composite. And then add a waterfall in behind. Which I thought was pretty cool. So. A couple of benefits for today. I have off. I am going to be taking some photos. Which I love doing. And I haven't been able to really do in a while. I did do a photo shoot. Uh, last week, which came out amazing, which was released in a magazine, which is great. I'm actually doing another similar photo shoot later on today with uh, Kayla, who uh, I shot before. Um, and she's going to have a snake with her, so that's pretty cool. Maybe. We'll see. She said that she hasn't fed her snake in like a couple of days and it might be hungry and fidgety. So I'm a little afraid that it might try to eat me if it can fit this whole sexiness in its belly. Uh, yeah, so that's about it. I guess I will maybe take a video after and see how that goes. Um, keep you updated. I don't know. Yeah, this is weird. I'm just talking to myself. Hopefully nobody's looking at me. Yeah, I don't know. The trees have eyes. All right, cool. Peace. Bye. All right, so I just got to the waterfall. See, it's in a good angle. Uh, it's a little windy here. Maybe I should have been turned over. There it is. It seemed bigger. But it's a lot more water than it was last time. I mean, when you go to Iceland, it's like no waterfall is as beautiful as anything over there. It's Yeah. I mean, it's so beautiful. Don't get me wrong. You know, you get what you got. You, know, you get what you have. But I don't know. Oh, look. It says no swimming permitted. All right. So, I think that was kind of a success. Um, came down to the waterfall. Shot some water. Some waterfall. Some water and some fall. I had to walk up a big ass hill. And I hate hills and stairs. Um, anyways. So after I did that, got some shots, um, a nice family came down, uh, super sweet. It was an older couple, I think the grandparents of the daughter who was there with her husband and their child. So it was a family of five who came hiking. Um, and I really liked the way the older guy looked. Uh, he had this like very seasoned kind of look and apparently he's a tour guide. Uh, for some wilderness somewhere. I'm not quite sure where. Um, so what I did was I took portraits of them separately. 
so that I can composite it later on since I only have like a single light and a small umbrella with me. Um, I don't feel like carrying anything else. But yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, they were so sweet that um, even the father or the grandfather he like gave me twenty dollars. He's like, oh, I heard some beer money. Granted, I don't really drink like that, but probably won't use it for beer. Maybe some gummy ones. Mm. Anyways, uh, so after that, another couple came by. Um, they were older. They're not from around the area, but they had like hiking sticks, and they were all done up in their little hiking gear. Uh, I would say they were around sixty years old so young but um yeah so i got portraits of them too and i'm sorry for breathing so hard god i should probably hike this like every week because I'll probably get in better shape i mean i did lose like 20 pounds so far so just imagine how huge i was i am gonna die all right what's up guys all right, so I am on my way to my studio in Highland, which will no longer be my studio in about a month and a half because I am currently looking for a place to live. Um, we put an offer in the house yesterday. Hopefully today it comes back, but they accepted it. But with this market, you never know. Going over 16000 and uh, $10,000 gap assurance, if you don't know what that is, I'm sorry. Um, anyways, so I just edited the photos um, that I took at the waterfall, and I think they turn, turned out pretty decent. Um, I've never done anything like that before, so I definitely want to try it again. Uh, let's see if I can get it, I don't know, just like a little bit better. I think they came out pretty decent, for the, especially for my first time doing that. Um, I just feel like it's a tad underexposed. But when I bring up the exposure, and then, you know, adjust the shadows and everything accordingly, it just looks too bright and just fake. And I don't know. Because, you know, the goal is to make it look as natural as possible. So, I think it looks almost like a half a stop underexposed. And even when I bring it up, half a stop, I just don't like the way it looks. But I like the way it looks when it looks underexposed. That tends to be a lot of my work. I'm not sure if there's something wrong with my eyes or something, but I tend to be a little bit on the more dramatic, I don't know, spectrum of things. That doesn't really make sense. But yeah so i'm on my way to the studio should be there in a couple of minutes i have a shoot in about two hours yeah uh two hours it's going to involve a snake i think i mentioned that before so yeah i'm pretty stoked for that and that's kind of weird talking to yourself all right bye.